Hi friend, it's Lexi. Take risks. That is the subject of this video. First of all, if you're watching from Facebook, welcome. If you're watching the re replay, welcome. Sorry, I was just looking to see if this broadcasted right through on my phone. Not sure how to do that yet, but I'll figure it out. I'm trying to get the phone and the computer working at the same time on my go live. So yes, this is Lexi. Welcome. Uh, today's again, today's topic is take risks. This is part two of being on your entrepreneurial journey. My first go live on this was yesterday. So if you want to scroll down after this video is over and take a look at part one, uh, it's about being creative in the three C's. So do check that out. So um, while you're watching this, please send some emojis because I love them. Uh, go ahead and comment if you'd like, and please share this out to your friends. I'd really appreciate it. Risk. Uh, we must make simple decisions every day, but then there's decisions that actually change the course of our lives. Those that believe in the power of their dreams end up manifesting them. They're brave, they're taking risks, and they're following their heart. A lot of us are a lot of us live in our comfortable life. And through that comfort comes a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, and a lot of stress. Why? Because we're still living in the same old routine. We're sitting on the fence. We're living in a box. We're living in safety. We're living in our comfort zone. We may not like it, but we don't want to move out of it. Uh, one thing I found when I was re when I was doing my homework for this go live. Um, I'm going to quote partly from a George Lucas quote, but I kind of added in my own flavor. Uh, it's like living in a cage with the door wide open. Do you live your life in a cage? Living in that comfort zone? Are, are you not worried that when you die, you're going to wonder? Just, <laughs> you, well, you'll be gone at that point. But I mean, at the end of your life, are you going to wonder, should I have taken those risks? What would my life have turned out like if I would have done this or made that decision? Risks are all about expansion, embracing new things, embracing change. So basically, you have to get uncomfortable to feel at peace. That makes sense. If you've got anxiety and worry and stress living in your comfort zone, you've got to get uncomfortable to get peace. I hope you just had an aha moment. I think that's pretty profound. Every day, day in and day out, you're in the rat race. You're doing the same thing that you did 20 years ago. You're in your comfort zone. You don't like it. You've got stress and worry and uh, anxiety over it, but you're not willing to make that change. You're not willing to, to take that risk. You have to be brave. You have to be bold and step out of that cage, step out of that comfort, comfort zone and get into being uncomfortable. Take a risk. Take a calculated risk. Basically, it's not that we're afraid of the unknown. We're, we've got our judgments and our projections of the unknown. And that's what's terrifying us. We're curious about the unknown, but we project it and we, we judge it and we think bad things are going to happen. And that's what we're scared of. That's what we're terrified of. Does that make sense? Imagine this scenario. Picture this just for a moment. You have 24 hours to live. You have 24 hours to live. Picture that. What are you going to do? What will you do? If you're going to do something, do it right now. 
Take that risk. Go ahead, take it. You'll find it'll change the course of your life. And do, do it with passion. Don't take a risk if you're not passionate about it. I jumped out of a perfectly good airplane. Yes, I skydived once. I wasn't, I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified because I'm judging and projecting the outcome. When I came out of that plane and my chute deployed, it was the most peaceful, wonderful feeling I've ever had in my life. I'll never forget it. It feels like five minutes ago, but it was quite a few, few years ago. I took a risk. I jumped out of a perfectly good airplane at 3,000 feet. It was amazing. It changed my life. My adrenaline was pumping. My mind was going, what else can I do? How else can I have some fun? This is great. And it made my daily life more exciting. And honestly, it took away the anxiety and the stress and the worry of everyday life. It just kind of, you know, it's like you're in that cage. It's just like, I can't stand these walls anymore. I need to get out. I have to get out. Do something different. Do something that terrifies me. Do something that scares me. And I did. And then you know what else I did? I went whitewater rafting. I went whitewater rafting down in whitewater. <laughs> and it was a blast. It was so much fun the first time. I was scared to death. But there was another girl in the raft that was more scared than I was. So that kind of calmed me down. Anyway, I was so excited when we were finished the first ride, I went five more times. I went down five different rivers. I started looking on the map, where else can I go? Where else can I go? And I did it. It was so much fun. I tell you what, you do sporting adventures like that and that, that you feel is risky, but it's calculated risk. It's a safe risk. You've got guides, you've got, you can, find out about it. You can talk to people about it, explore different companies. You're all wearing your wetsuits, your life jackets, your helmets. You've got a guide there with first aid and CPR instruction or um, trainers. They've been trained in CPR. I mean, you take all that stuff off the table. Heck, go have fun. It's just so much fun. Start there. Uh, I am in two businesses. I've taken risks to get here to do this, but I wouldn't change a thing. I, everything hasn't been uh, better roses, that's for sure, but I've taken the risks. I am one that wants to be out of that comfort zone. I lived for many years in that comfort zone that I spoke to you about earlier, and I don't want to live it anymore. I embrace change. I'm doing my passions. I love it. I'm taking risks. Now, when I say taking risks, I'm not taking stupid risks. For instance, being an online marketer, I'll look at a company, and if it's too good to be true, it probably is. I will walk it, walk the other way. I won't touch it. If they're making all these crazy promises that are outlandish and your gut's telling you, no, that just something about that just doesn't seem right, walk away time. That's what I do. But I'm going, to, I'm going to leave you with one more little piece of advice. One more little thing to ponder about risk. And by the way, I encourage you to do it today. If you've been thinking about something, stop thinking about it. Do it now. Always put your mind back to the question I asked you. If you only had 24 hours to live, what would you do? What would you do? Make that change now. Take that risk. You don't want to have any regrets in this life. I'm going to leave you with this. Life without a risk. Life without a risk is a waste of oxygen. Powerful. I wanted to share that today with you. Taking risks. Part two of entrepreneurial journey. Share this out if you know someone that needs to hear this today. I'm Lexi. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll, I will see you in tomorrow's video, okay? Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for just a second. 
thank you thank you again for watching this today whether you're watching live or or you're on the replay oh hey jeremy how's it going and again like comment and share this out if you found value and need to share it with someone go right ahead thanks again for watching i will see you tomorrow bye now